I moved to Charters Towers because I wanted to change. I wanted something that was a little bit more relaxed. That's why I moved here to a little country town and gave myself 12 months and here I am nine years later. Charters Towers just seems like just a community of people who are dedicated to this place. We'd been in southeastern suburbs of Melbourne. A lot of traffic, a lot of people, very hectic, hustle bustle. Charters Towers is different in pretty much every way you can think of. Yeah, the lifestyle is just, everyone's more relaxed, everyone knows each other and looks out for one another. I lived in Townsville for a few years and I knew one of my neighbours. We're in Charters Towers, you know half the town. And not just because it's a, a small town, it's because people are truly invested in each other. And I, I guess for me, that's always been an important thing. I'm originally from Canada, so I come over in 2005. I've been here for 17 years now. I've met some really good people here, and I think that's one of the main reasons why I've actually continued to stay here. I own Towers Gas and Camping Shop. So the previous owners have been with me since day one. They've been absolutely amazing. If I do need to go away or have an appointment or something, they're there usually to give me a hand. I don't think you're gonna get that in the big towns. It's a great community and everyone's there to help each other. I've been working as a plumber and gas fitter for about six years now. The business just started out, and was supposed to be a side hustle, maybe one or two jobs on a weekend, and it's just skyrocketed. There's plenty of work to go around. People aren't undercutting each other. People aren't trying to rip customers off because you just won't last here doing that. And around Melbourne, the big cities, it's a bit of a race to the bottom. So I've been in the flower industry for 18, going on 19 years now. The business is good. People are very supportive. Prior to COVID, all I did was work. That was my life. I worked five days a week in a shop and then on the weekends I was setting up weddings and events. And then when COVID hit, it made me realise the importance of having that work-life balance. So I took a step back from work because of that and I stopped taking on weekend work so that I could have that valuable time with my family and friends. I've got three kids. As far as education goes, you're spoiled for choice. Yeah, there's plenty of schooling options here in Charters Towers. I think there's like at least a dozen schools here, private and public schools. The best thing is that there's plenty of choices for public schools, especially the primary school. We thought that we were at one of the better schools in the suburb we lived in Melbourne and we weren't too impressed and to just fall into a school that's been as good as it has, yeah, we're really lucky in that regard. I really like working at the high school. Now that I'm in my third year of teaching at the school, I really feel like I have made a lot of connections with the students. And so I walk into a new class and they know me because I've taught them or I've taught their siblings. So I would recommend working in charters because there's so many school options within the town itself that you can pick a school that works with you. You can pick a school that works with your beliefs. From an educational point of view, I think you'd be hard pressed to find a country town of this size with better education. I found the lifestyle in charters to be great. There's just so many different clubs and different activities that you can get involved with. So if you enjoy sports, join the indoor sporting centre. If you enjoy playing an instrument, join the band. There's just so many different things happening in the community. We are fortunate enough to live on this beautiful sprawling cattle property. We just enjoy coming home and enjoy having you know, some quiet time and, and go for walks and go and see the cattle and do a bit of work, go down to the river, just enjoy life with the kids on, on the land. So often on a Friday night we will pack the car, pack the camper trailer and we will head out to a camping spot somewhere. The thing that I really like about camping is that you drive 20 minutes and you're on a riverbed and you look up at all of the stars and there is no light pollution. Camping is definitely the escape. Yeah, the kids do a lot of sporting activities as well. Training for the kids is usually twice a week because it takes five minutes to get anywhere here in town, so it's easy to get the kids to practice in time. It, it just allows some more opportunities for your children. You're not spending 45 minutes in traffic. You're not wasting half your weekend driving around. It just makes life so much easier, like it's convenient. You can literally leave home and be home within 15 minutes. 
Yeah, Charters Towers is definitely an affordable place to live. It's good for young families. It's a good place to get a head start and I find that when young families do move to town, they generally don't leave. I tell people back home what we paid for our house and they can't believe it. Like, you wouldn't get a tool shed for that down in Melbourne. Charters Towers is a very safe place, very little property crime. I mean, we want good facilities, we want good structure, we want good things around us for our children. Everyone is invested in making Charters Towers a better place and a safe place to live in. I just love Charters Towers for the simple fact that it's relaxing here. There's no rat race. Here, it's just, without even realising it, you just feel yourself de-stressing. Definitely after the last little bit of our lives down in the city was very hard with the lockdowns and all the restrictions and that, and just feeling boxed in. It's a really nice feeling to just sit there and remember from where you've come from to where you are now and just have that sense of freedom up here. The world's your oyster in a way.